this is a Bible. Either he was preaching this or this book. This is Quran. There are, the first is Allah will teach him the book. وَيُعَلِّمُ الْكِتَابَ وَيُعَلِّمُ الْكِتَابَ Which book? Either the Bible or this book. So if you speak to these Christians, they say he was preaching the Torah and Injil. So this is, they say the Torah and Injil is in the Bible. They say, the Christians tell us, that the Torah and Injil is in the Bible. I am asking then, what about the book and the Hikmah? Where is it? Because Allah says there are four things. Allah says there are four things. If the Torah and Injil is in this, which is not to be found in the Bible at all, but they tell us, no, we have got the Torah and Injil. It is not to be found in the, in the Bible completely. There is no word Torah. There is no word Injil. But the Quran has it. And I'll explain how. You see, when Allah says anything in the Quran, we have to find out from Allah to explain everything. We don't have to go and search anywhere else. So when Allah says, Why you alimul kitaba? This kitab means the book or the written one is mentioned in the Al Quran 200 times. This book, Al Kitab, is mentioned in the Quran how many? 200 times. So that book, which is mentioned in the Quran, that book was given to Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, because that is the book of Allah. And Allah is teaching Isa, peace be upon him. The second word is the Hikmah. The word Hikmah, Al Hikmah, is mentioned in the Quran 20 times. And this Al Hikmah was given to Isa, peace be upon him. And that hikmah is recorded in the Quran 20 times. And you can understand what is that hikmah. You can understand what is that kitab, the book. And what Taurat, Taurat word is mentioned, the law is mentioned in the Quran 18 times. 18 times. So this Taurat, which we, the Isa was given, is in the book, in the Quran. Because we're reading here, so we look into the book. Because Allah tells us where it is. And the word in Jeel is mentioned in the Quran 12 times. So ladies and gentlemen, all these four things is recorded, preserved in the Quran with the Muslim world. We don't have to look here and there. Because the Bible doesn't contain the word, the Torah, the Bible doesn't contain the word in Jeel not to be found in the Bible. So this word Torah, this word, this word Al-Kitab, and Hikmah, and the Torah, and the Injil, these are the attributes of Al-Quran, which is to be found in Al-Kitab, the Quran, the word of Allah. So when these things were given to Isa, that is Jesus, peace be upon him, Allah further tells us in Ayah 46, وَيُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِي and Isa, that is Jesus, peace be upon him, shall speak to people in childhood or cradle, from the cradle and in maturity, and he shall be of the righteous. When this knowledge is given to Isa, that is Jesus, peace be upon him, of the book, of the Hikmah, of the Torah and Injil, so Allah says he will speak these words, these things to the people in the, from the cradle. He will speak to mankind from the cradle, in the childhood, and in maturity. What? All these four things. And to know the fact, in Surah Maryam 19, that is Ayah 30, قَالَ إِنِّي عَبْدُ اللَّهِ آتَانِيَ الْكِتَابَ وَجَعَلَنِي نَبِيَّةِ He said, Peace be upon him says, he said, I am indeed a servant of Allah. He has given me Al-Kitab, the book. He has given me the book and has made me a prophet. He doesn't say he's brought Injil. He doesn't say that. I repeat. In Surah Maryam, that is 19, Ayah 30, when he comes to the world, he says, Qala inni Abdullah, 
آتانی الخطاب و جعلانی نبیہ He said, I am indeed a servant of Allah and he has given me Al-Kitab, that is the book and has made me a prophet. So that Al-Kitab, we must know that is the book which he brought to the mankind. And now we see what is, what is the miracles given to him in Surah Al-Imran, that is Chapter 3 and 49 ayah. وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ أَنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ أَنِّي أَخْلُقُ لَكُمْ مِّنَ الطِّينِ كَحَيَّةِ الطَّيْرِ فَانْفُقُ فِيهِ فَيَكُونُ طَيْرًا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَأُبْرِهُ الْأَكْمَهَ وَالْأَبْرَصَ وَأُحْيِ الْمَوْتَى بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَأُنَب إِنَّ فِي ذَٰلِكَ لَآيَةَ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And a messenger to the children of Israel. I am a prophet and a messenger to the children of Israel. That is, I have come to you with an ayat from your Lord. I have come to you with an ayat from your Lord. In that I make for you out of clay, as it were the figure of bird. That is flyer and breathe into it and becomes a bird, a flyer. By Allah's leave, and I heal the blind and the lepers, and I give life to the dead by Allah's leave, and I inform you in what you consume and what you store in your houses. Surely it is an ayat for you if you did believe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are the miracles mentioned in the Quran for Hazrat Isa, that is Jesus, peace be upon him. He is the messenger of Allah in this ayat. Allah says he is the messenger of Allah to the children of Israel, Bani Israel. And he has come to mankind or the Bani Israel as a, with an ayat. And I make for you out of clay as it were the figure or the shape of a bird. This ayah is very, very important. This words I am repeating once again that in I make for you out of clay or sand or anything from the mud or sand of the, from the earth, clay, as it were the figure of bird, that it appears to be a bird. It is not a bird. It is not a bird. Bird in English means which flies. Anything which flies, in Arabic it means toil. In Urdu it means parinda. With, it doesn't mean that it has wings, which flies. So Arabic says, meaning that it appears, it looks like a flyer. It looks like a flyer, but it is not a flyer. It appears to be a flyer. In the figure of a flyer. And when, when he breathes into it, it starts flying. So we know, ladies and gentlemen, for 2,000 years, people are thinking that only 200 years people came to know about the plane. It looks like a bird, it looks like a bird and it flies. It's not a bird at all. So what year Allah gave us the knowledge that Isa peace be upon him by the, by the command, by his ism. He made a figure of, from, the, from the sand, he took a figure and make like a flyer and when he put the spirit into it, start flying. So we can understand this, the concept of flying was given ages through Isa, peace be upon him. And I heal the blind and the lepers. I heal the blind and the lepers. Now the doctors or the science are still finding that terminology and understanding how to heal the blind and the lepers. That was done by Isa a long time back in 2000 or whatever years back. Allah gave him by the izin of Allah. And he gave life to the dead by Allah's leave. That is again a miracle by Allah's leave he was given. And I inform you what you consume and what you store in your houses. Surely it is an ayat for you if you did believe. If you believe, this is a miracle, the ayat, all these given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And his time he, he proved it and he still did, did it. And in Surah 
मरियम थर्टी वन आया वज आलानी मुबारकन आई न मै खून तू व ओसानी बिस्लाती व जकैती मा दुम तो हैया एंड ही इज मेड मी ब्लेसड वे सो आई बी एंड ही इज इंजॉइन ऑन मी सलाह दैट इज प्रेयर एंड जका एज लॉन्ग दैट इज चैरिटी एज लॉन्ग आई लिव सिंपल एंड अ वेरी सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अ फैक्ट that he is enjoin me salah so for every muslim salah is a very common word we muslim offer salah five times a day same isa jis bhi upon him was offering five times a day salah because we are following his sunna he is a messenger of allah and zakat he gave we are giving zakat same zakat we know what we give what salah we perform it was performed by isa jesus peace be upon him no christian does it who are the followers of isa then if we muslims are following the salah with isa peace be upon him did it we are following the zakah or giving zakah no christian gives zakat and salah offer salah what we muslims are performing so we are the followers of isa peace be upon him and what salah is established in muqam e ibrahim that same salah he performed and the zakah what he give we muslims are practicing the same zakah and further allah says wa barrum bi walidati wa lam yaj'al li jabbaran shaqiya and he has made me kind to my mother and not overbearing and miserable isa peace be upon him was kind to his mother because there is in the in the in the, in the quran there is another place she was charged maryam was azad maryam was charged for for producing a child which they the mankind could not understand it was a botan azim was she was taken so now people at that time did not respected her but hazrat isa says quran says wa barrum bi walidati wa lam yaj'al li jabbaran shaqiya and he has made me kind to my mother and not overbearing or miserable now we look at the bible in john 2 and verse 4 jesus said unto her woman what i have to do with thee mine hour is not yet come imagine there is no where in the whole bible jesus said to mother my mother like all of us we say my mother ummi mummy in in urdu in arabic ummi but surprising thing is that in the whole bible he doesn't say my mother he said woman what i have to do with you my time is not yet hey aurat what do you mean by this can any man can call his mother aurat or a woman this is the record in the bible and in the quran allah says that he was made kind to my mother not overbearing or miserable can you imagine the status is giving an honor to his mother what isa peace be upon him is recorded in the quran that he was kind to his mother not overbearing or miserable so what all he did in the quran he gave it to mankind in his time but he realized at that time there was a conspiracy going on there was a conspiracy going on about his personality and still it is carried today Ali Imran that is ayah 52 Falamma asa Isa minhum al-kufra qala man ansari ila Allah qala al-hawariyuna nahnu ansaru Allah amanna billahi wa shad bi anna muslimun when Isa Jesus found an unbelief on their part he said who are my helpers to Allah said the companions disciples We are Allah's helpers. We believe in Allah and bear witness that we are Muslims. Bi anna muslimun. So now when when in the time of Isa peace be upon him when all these miracles he performed with all the spirit he gave to the world with the words of Allah he spoke 
everything what he did people could not understand they rejected him they terribly rejected him and that isa peace be upon him realized so he said to his people falamma asa isa min al-kufra qala man ansari allah meaning when isa jesus peace be upon him found and believe on their part because they were rejecting his personality they were rejecting the concepts which he was promoting and the miracles by the permission of allah he performed all these people rejected him so he said who are my helpers who are my helpers to was allah qala al habariyuna nahnu ansar allah said the companions the disciples we are your helpers amanna billah we believe in allah wa shad bi anna muslimun and we are muslims so who helped isa peace be upon him in history the muslims and still today the muslims are the hawarins or the companions of isa peace be upon him we are still trying to be helpers of allah towards isa peace be upon him because his personality is the maximally distorted by the christian world we are muslims i am reading the quranic ayat falamma asa isa min al kufra qala man ansari ila allah qala al habariyuna nahnu ansaru allah amanna billah wa shad bi anna muslimun when isa jesus peace be upon him found the unbelief the rejection among the people he said who are my helpers who are my helpers to allah said the companions the disciples the ashabas we are allah's helpers we believe in allah and we bear witness that we are muslims they further says rabbana amanna bima anzalta wa ittaba'ana rasula faktubna ma'a ash-shahidin oh our lord we believe in what you have revealed and we follow the messenger we follow the messenger and then write us down among those who bear witness it was the muslims of all times who are the hawarins and the companions of isa that is jesus peace be upon him and they said it o oh our lord rabbana amanna bima anzalta wa ittaba'ana rasula faktubna ma'a ash-shahidin o oh our lord we believe in what you have revealed we follow the messenger and here the messenger is referring to isa peace be upon him tabana rasula we muslims follow the isa peace be upon him what tabana rasula we follow the messenger and then write us down then write us down among those who were witnesses we are witnesses for the fact that we are the companions the hawarins and the sahabas of isa peace be upon him because we muslims do not make distinction among the messengers we follow all the messengers we follow all the messengers and isa peace be upon him is one of them according to bible and the christian faith in saint mark that is chapter 14 50 there was a situation when isa peace in the bible when jesus was confronted in the bible he was confronted by the by the jews so according to the bible all the disciples forsook him and fled 100% disaster it is in the bible saint mark 14 and they that are the disciples all forsook him and fled meaning in the most need all the disciples 100% disaster to his personality to what he was preaching according to the bible they ran away not one stood for isa peace be upon him not one according to the bible they all ran away the quran speaks the muslim world they stand for isa peace be upon him as the hawarins the companions ali imran that is family of imran i have 54 wa makaru wa makara allah wallahu khairul makirin and the unbelievers plotted and planned and allah to planned and the best of the planners of allah is allah so in that time people are trying to reject his personality 
what was given to him and the message and everything, they wanted to plan. The non-believers, they wanted to go against his personality, what Allah has raised him for. So there was a planning going on. But Allah says, he is the best of planner. And I will tell you how the planning is exposed. And the unbelievers plotted and planned. And Allah too planned, but the best of the planners is Allah. And the further Allah says in the same surah and ayah 54, now 55, the, I will explain how the planning is exposed. Allah says to Isa, peace be upon him, regarding the plan. إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَىٰ إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَاعِلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ ثُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ فَاحْكُمُ بَيْنَكُمْ فِي مَا كُنْتُمْ فِيهِ تَخْتَلِفُونَ And when Allah said, O oh Isa, that is Jesus, I will cause you to die. I will cause you to die and raise you to myself and clear you from those who reject and make those who follow you superior to those who reject to the day of judgment. Then shall you all return to me and I will judge between you in the matters where you dispute. Now, Allah tells us in this ayah about his end of life. This is very, very important ayah. Because they were planning for his life. For his life. And they were planning against his attributes and personality. There are two types of killing in the world. One is to kill a person is by giving wrong attributes to his personality. Suppose I'm speaking about Quranic ayahs. And some people go outside and say that he was preaching communism. This is known as talking something wrong about a man. It's killing the personality. It's, a, it's, 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 it's confirmed in the Quran that you kill a personality by talking something wrong about his personality. This is one killing. That's known as spiritual killing. The other killing is the physical. Whatever the planning was going on by the non-Muslims of all times, not only today, but all times regarding Isa, peace be upon him. Allah has explained us what he says. If call Allah, ya Isa, inni mutawafika wa rafiuka ilayya wa mutahiruka min al kafaru. Meaning, oh, oh, uh, and when Allah said, oh Isa, that is Jesus, I will cause you to die. I will cause you to die. That means I will complete your life. I will complete your life and raise you to myself and clear you from those who are rejecting what they are planning and I will raise you from what they are rejecting from those who are rejecting. So this is very important. This is the sequence. Number one is, first is, when Allah said, Oh Isa, that is Jesus, I will cause you to die is the first statement. Mark, this is very important ayat. You must know what I'm saying. I will cause you to die. That it means I'll complete your life and raise you to myself. That means raising in Arabic, rafa means in, in raising not physical also. It means honor and raise you to myself. First is cause you to die and then is raised to myself and clear you from those who are rejecting. Some people are rejecting. I will clear you from them. They are planning. They can't kill you. I will cause you to, I will complete your life. And I will make those who, who follow you superior. The Muslim world who believe in Isa, peace be upon him. I'll make you superior to those who reject his personality and what is mentioned in the Quran. Allah will make the Muslim world superior. In the sight of Allah, I'm talking of the Muslim world, not by the labels. Mark my very important. I, I mean, we are not talking about the Muslim by label. We're talking about in the sight of Allah. I'll make them superior to those who reject to the day of judgment. Then shall you all return to me and I will judge between you in the matters where you dispute. So now they were trying a uh, planning and Allah said, I will cause you to die. I will complete your life 
and raise you unto myself. Raise you unto myself. The first is causing him to die. The second is raise you to myself. And the third is purification or clear you from those who reject. So when Isa, peace be upon him, was told by Allah regarding what is going to happen to him, so he, so to say, gave the last sermon to the children of Israel at that time. The information is given to him. Now he is giving his, so to say, the last sermon to the children of Israel in Surah Saf. That is 61, Ayah 6. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيْسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِلَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَاتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُ أَحْمَدِ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا هَذَا سِحْرٌ مُبِينٌ Meaning when Isa, that is Jesus son of Maryam, that is Mary, said, O children of Israel, surely I am a messenger of Allah to you, confirming the Torah, confirming the Torah, which is before me. It was there before. The law was there. He was taught the law. The law is there. He's saying, I'm confirming from the Torah and giving you good news of a messenger coming after me. His name shall be Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear sign, they said, this is clear magic. Now this, so to say, the last sermon of Isa, peace be upon him, recorded in the Quran that He's calling his people, the children of Israel, and telling them that, that in a way that I am a messenger, I'm confirming the Torah, I'm not rejecting the Torah, I'm not obligating the Torah, I'm confirming the Torah. I'm confirming the Torah, number one, and now I'm giving good news of a messenger coming after me, and his name shall be Ahmad. That is referred to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Now, you know, this is very, very simple that he is being told that he is, going to, he is to go from this world and now he's calling his people and he's telling, look, I have to go and a messenger is coming. Another messenger, his name is Ahmad. You follow him. There is a time and life for everybody. In time and time, everybody has to go, depart from the world. So he's called his people and he said, look, I'm a messenger to you, confirming the Torah from, from the Torah, and I'm giving good news of a messenger coming after me, Mimbadis Muhammad. That means I'm not coming. Till the day of judgment, this Quranic ayat, Mimbadis Muhammad. After me, a messenger is coming, and that is Ahmad, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We Muslims heeded to that warning. We are followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We heeded to his call. They rejected the Christian world. They didn't accept it. And still they are looking for that personality, which is also in the Bible, in the question and time, I can tell you. But since this is Quranic ayats, I am dealing with the ayats. So now a messenger, they, that means it's very simple. I am a messenger to you, giving good news of a messenger coming after me. That means not me, after me. He's pointing to someone else. And his name is Ahmad. That is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. فَلَمَّا جَاهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ And when he came with, with clear signs, they say this is evidence, sorcery, magic. And he reminds us in the Maryam Surah Maryam, 1933 ayah. He says, He says, he says, and Salam, Islam, Salam, peace is on me the day I was born. Not Christianity on me, Salam, peace. In Hebrew, Shalom. In Arabic, Salam. He says, peace is on me the day I was born. And the day I die, and the day I shall be raised back to life. One cycle, he tells us. 